Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're doing some prep for Leofric coming to the game. So on this account, I wanted to let you guys choose because I was going to go Leofric, but some people said, I'd rather see you finish Zora. So I want to talk you through my thoughts on both options. Um, and then I'll probably do a community poll later on. Um, well, like pretty, pretty much straight after this video um, to see what you guys think. So where I'm at at the moment. So the Zorath is currently at Legendary Plus. Uh, I think I might even have enough. Wait, wait, wait. If I go here and click this, and then I go here and I go store, I go challenger store. Okay, we already did have enough. We already did have enough for last collect. So he's at Legendary Plus plus one copy. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is Stargaze to get him to Mythic uh, because I can't be bothered waiting that long. From there is where the decision comes into it. Now, Zolrath, I really want Mythic to test him um, to see if he can work as a counter to Brutus for Lucretia right now. That's why I really want him to Mythic. And obviously, eventually, I want to get him to Ascended, which is going to take an extra six copies um, because that way we can use him in a burst comp once we get to multi-battles. That's basically my idea behind Zolrath. I made a whole video on it. But then we have Leofric coming into the game, and that dude is just an absolute savage. I can't even look at him at the moment because he's not in the files. But um, the thing with Leofric, though, is I still think he's going to support well at Elite. So I'm wondering what you guys reckon. Do I, A, just go all in on Zorath? B, go all in on Leofric? Or C, oops, I almost put the other two fingers down. Or C... Do I do Zolrath to Mythic, get one copy of Leofric, and then finish Zolrath? I'm th I'm leaning towards that because then I'm six copies away from Zolrath, which is a much easier time um, to actually get something to a functional, like a more functional level than Leofric. And with Leofric, like I said, his base kit without his furniture or signature item is actually fantastic. And I think he's going to have insane viability just off the back of that. So... Let me know. I'll do a poll. I'll get, let me know your comments in this one. I'll do a poll as well because I'm just curious what you guys want to see because I know some people are a bit upset about the way I've taken this account with the irons into Lucretia and stuff like that. I am pumped about the way I've taken this account. It has gone super nicely and it's gone really well, but I wanted to give you guys this one. Um, but yeah, the, the one I'm leaning towards is go one copy of Zolrath to get him Mythic um, and then I can start working on your signature item. Then one copy of Leofric, so I've got him and I can use him as a support. And the other thing is, it it allows me one extra Hypergene to work towards that Hypergene bonus, which would get me a four piece. Um, and then, you know, if I luckily get something else, maybe hopefully pull a random Mortis, because I don't want to summon for Mortis, but if I get one randomly, that'd be handy. So that's sort of where I'm at in my thinking. Let me know what you guys think. But um, but yeah, this account, dude, like I'm just having so much fun. And I know, I know some people think I'm doing way too much content on this account. I can't help it. I'm having so much fun, guys. Like it's it's actually ridiculous. What? No. How are we below? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, you know what ruined me? Them faction towers. Man, faction towers. It's so, so frustrating. Got to change the gear back. But yeah, this account, I'm just having so much fun on. The other accounts, like... I, like the other accounts I don't have to do too much to keep up to date with and stuff like that um, and then like every once in a while I'll get a burst on the other accounts and I'll play them for like a day straight and be like wow this is amazing and then I jump back on this one and this one's just where like because the thing about this count is it's following like where things are at uh, obviously not with the Zolrath anymore but it was like the, the big test was that Lucretia thing and I just can't believe how well the Lucretia's worked and keep in mind I did spend but I feel like, f I still think, I I'm curious if anyone's done it. I still think free to play is a viable option to just stargaze the creature straight up. It would slow down your very early progression, but I feel like it would speed up. Like as soon as you got her to mythic or mythic plus, like, cause you can get to chapter 26 with her at mythic plus, like, like you don't need it. And like, you could probably get to chapter 24 with her at mythic at level 200. So it's just her level caps that become the issue. And I just think, I, like, let me know what you guys think on this topic as well. I'm just going through a lot of topics right now. But I just think there's a lot of viability behind the Lucretia, even free to play. I'm not going to start an account to do it. If someone wants to start an experiment account, and obviously RNG is going to come in and weigh heavily on things, um, because, 
like if you have godly rates it's free to play it's like you've spent money but if you have trash rates it's free to play it's like someone's been stealing money out of your pocket <laughs> is that is that a fair analogy of it uh but like look at this look at this we're stuck in campaign like I, i've tried that stage a little bit yesterday but then i went went and did faction towers for the last two days but oh no 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 we're gonna attack the wrong one oh no no we didn't get nerfed like look at it look at it. i haven't actually pushed tower i have not pushed tower in a little bit where are we at we're at a what was that Oh, we're at a three times deficit. Yeah, so we'll, we'll push way further into this tower, which is sick. Which means when Leofric does drop, no matter what, we're going to drop in and do some summons, whatever we've got saved. We don't have much saved. We've got some stones and some stuff like that. Um, and hopefully we'll have a few more diamonds so that we can do... Wait, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ooh, we kind of got four. I think we can do better than that. I think, I think... I reckon we can get to like five or six or seven... I think. Wait, is there? Has the Misty Valley started yet? No, it hasn't reset yet. I was gonna say if the Misty Valley resets, we're we're into like godly territory. But yeah, like, I just like like Lucretia. Like when you point at like getting further in, like on my free to play account, it becomes like a like it's like a it's a lot of work with Lucretia to clear stages because it's like it's not like the Irons comp where you just go. This is a pretty stable comp. Two things to shift around and it works. Like Lucretia in, like requires a lot more work. But, like, she can clear so many things. It's just ridiculous. But, like I said, with that Zolrath, uh, I just I just feel like it might alleviate my Brutus issues. And especially now that I've got her to 30 signature item, um, if I can get Zolrath to 30 signature item as well, which will probably take a month or so, but if I can get him there, that will allow me to have the Hyper Gene bonus... And, but because I'm now at 50% per ally killed instead of the 30, I still get a pretty decently sized buff from Lucretia. Um, even if Zolrath survives to the point where he has to kill the Brutus. And then if he dies after that, you know, who cares? But, ooh, yeah. Oh, yes. I thought we were going to lose that one. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just thoroughly... It's turned into me being a happy little kid video this one, so I do apologize, <laughs> but it, was, it started out me just wanting to get your opinions. Now I'm just like back to excited about Lucretia, but I'm pumped to see what Zolrath can do. I really want that Leofric, but like I said, I feel like I feel like the return that I'm getting from summoning for Leofric now and stopping the, um, the Zolrath, I, I just don't feel like there's as big of a return in the account progression as if I just went one copy of Leofric and then back to Zolrath. And then we can just go ham on Zolrath. And then we get him to a point where he's fully functional. And then we can look at Leofric. But even then, as much as I like Leofric, I just think... I Like, my, my thought is... He's... Like, the, the it's kind of like Mahira. The difference between an elite Leofric and a Ascended one... I feel like it'd be better on your account to have an elite Leofric and an Ascended owner over a you know elite owner and ascended leo freak so i feel like he gi he gives so much value at elite that i don't actually need to do it now i'm leaning towards just not doing leo freak i'm I, i'm really heavily I'll, I'll still ask you guys i don't know if i'll go with what you say though i'm definitely leaning towards get zolrath mythic get one copy of leo freak and then uh and then go ham on zolrath get the six copies get him ascended and then we'll reassess the position i mean to be honest leo freak didn't have the pets active enough in his combat so you know it's their fault for not doing that so <laughs> we'll have to wait and see but anyway guys we are stomping through this tower i'm going to keep pushing this tower as far as we can so that by the time leo Frick drops uh hopefully who knows if we get like a crazy lucky summon on a stone that would be sick but hopefully we can get as many stones as possible i haven't actually done the uh because I've been waiting to do my Stargaze, I haven't actually done the, whatchamacallit, the Voyage of Wonders yet, so I'll do that as well. Have a few more saved up, and hopefully we can get some luck when he drops into the game. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.